this has to be the most toxic shit that I have ever done in my entire existence. So I go ahead and summon out Fenrir right here. My opponent is going to activate infinite impermanence. This shit is fucking toxic. So I go ahead and activate Stake Your Soul. He's going to maxi me, but my boy, <laughs> my boy, I got the Ash Blossom. So we go ahead and activate Ash Blossom right here. Now, this is why if you're going to build this deck, bro, you take all the fucking hand traps out and you put actual traps in your deck, my boy, that, that involve your engine. Keep it a 40 card deck that involves as many parts of the engine as possible so then that way you can use the deck effectively now he did he didn't actually do that he's got maxi he's got ash he's got all type of shit in his deck right so i'm just making plays right so i summon out this not nothing crazy but i'm playing against an elish player my boy so he goes ahead and gets rid of my fin rear which he he should 100 percent he has to right he has to get rid of Fenrir because if Eldritch hits the field, that shit's not protected against Fenrir, right? So he goes ahead, summons out his Eldritch, and the motherfucker didn't read the field. Didn't matter if he read the field or not, but my boy, that says change the battle position of one monster on the field which means that one monster you got goes into defense and i waited to the last second on purpose so he would enter the battle phase stupidly enough and do what he just did then he then sets this card right here summons out a second eldritch onto the field this one not protected like this one is right go ahead and go into security dragon Yeet this shit right back to his motherfucking hand. Yeet! And then I go ahead and go Raisin right here. Raisin is going to pop his Eldritch that was on the field because that one's not protected, my bye. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw a card with Heavy Borger and then just attack, right? Attack with each one. And then I just attack with this even though it has no attack points, just to fucking troll. Because I don't give a fuck. So then I go ahead and reveal, hey, hey, my boy, guess what? Guess what? I have, you know, just, just to burn that 1500. Hey, hey, just want to do this to you, you know? He goes ahead and puts out this City of Golden Lands. Now, I played Eldritch before. I know how Eldritch works. I know exactly what his point of doing this is. Go ahead and summon Eldritch, the Mad Golden Lord. Once he does that, that card can tribute something, one of his Eldritches, so then that way he can take one of my monsters. Perfectly fine by me. He think that taking Heavy Borger away from me means that he doesn't die from burn damage. Cool. You you thought this through. You're smart, I guess. Right? Boom. So I go ahead and change this one into defense because I want to force him to activate that tribute effect, tributing off his Eldritch, which is why I did that. <laughs> It would have been even funnier. It would have been even funnier if I would have put this one in defense and then he would have been forced to tribute this one off. Or forcing him to attack first and then tribute it off so he can get the maximum amount of damage. That would have been even funnier. And then he would have had to either attack with the weaker one or tribute it and take my monster so then that way he could attack. Because if he would have attacked with the weaker one, he wouldn't have been able to take this monster. He would have taken something weaker, which would have been hilarious, but whatever. So I go ahead and <laughs> I go ahead and tribute off one of his ill liches. So he has two left in his grave and one is banished. And of course, this is Magnumut, so that means another bestial is coming. So he's going to lose another bestial. Now me as a troll I should have waited until he activated his Eldritch in the graveyard and then activated my bestial just to be like 
absolutely fucking devious, but I didn't care, bro. Like, this is GG's right there. There's nothing he can do at this point, bro. Do you see what I just drew? Bro, out of all cards, I knew that Dr. Mad Love would give me that Snow Devil draw. He can't stop this card, bro. There's nothing in the Eldritch deck that can stop this card from activating. He has to put a trap down that can stop this card before I put it down. Otherwise, he loses, bro. It's just GG. He don't even know. He don't even know. He should have saw what I grabbed, but did he read? Probably not. I go ahead and spin his Eldritch back, and he stuck around. He thinks he has a chance. He thinks he can win. Oh, he's like, I can still do this. His monsters have more attack than mine. Now, I, I, like I said, I could have waited until he activated his. I could have, bro, I could have waited until he activated his Eldritch and then been so devious and then banished it so then that way he couldn't get any summon whatsoever. Could have done that shit twice. One with the fucking Bestial Magnumut. And then I could have done it twice with Bestial Druid's Worm. I, I, I want to be a, I want to be as hardcore of a troll as I possibly can. That's what I should have done. That would have killed his spirit. So, me, I should have activated this in a draw phase if I wasn't a fucking troll, right? But nah, nah. I let him put his Eldritch out onto the field. I go ahead and add my Doctor Bad Love. <laughs> Bro, I waited until he entered the battle phase and tried to attack to get just a little bit of that. Like, bro, I could have actually let this attack go through. Let him get his damage just to show him he still would have lost to me and then flip this. But I, I was just like, bro, the damage that you thought you were going to get? Nah. Nah, my boy. Ah! <laughs>